Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief at theserverside.com. You can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And I want to show you a simple example of how to read, write, and even do some filtering of some CSV files using UiPath. So to filter some CSV files, read some CSV, write some CSV, the first thing you want to do is create a new project. I'm going to call this read, write, CSV. Maybe even copy that into the description as well. So that will create the basic project here. And with the project created, I'm going to open the main window. And I'm going to look over here under app integration. I've been playing around already, so you can see it sort of in my favorites and recents. But if you don't have it there, you go into app integration, you'll see CSV, and you'll see read CSV as one of your options. So I'm going to throw that down there. Now it's going to say, what file do you want to read? And if you click this browse for file, you'll notice that by default, it sends you into the name of the project, the root of the project. And so I don't actually have any CSV files in there. So I'm actually going to open up Windows Explorer, actually go into that project. I'm going to create a new file here called input file.csv. That's it there. I'm going to open it up with edit pad and I'm going to just paste the names of some of my very favorite Toronto talk show personalities into this file. And there's John Moore, Mike Stafford, Mike Corin, John Oakley, Mike Wilner. Yet they don't have real creative names for the radio hosts in Toronto here. Lots of Johns and lots of Mikes. That's my input file. And I want to actually filter this down so that there's no more Mikes in there, that there's only Johns. And so that's my input file. I'm going to need an output file as well, so I may as well create the output file.csv. And there we go, we've got all the files that we need. So now if I go back into UiPath, you notice that those files are available. So I click on this option here, which file do you want to read from? I'll read from input file. And then it says, what do you want to output this to? Well, I want to output it to a data table, but the data table hasn't been defined yet. So you have to go into variables, click this button here. You create a variable and I'll call this output. And sorry, I'm actually going to call it input. And it's going to be of type data table. So I'll we'll browse for types. And wow, look at all of those different types. And you notice that there's a system data table in here that I'm going to use. And of course, uh, we've got one variable called input of type data table. I'm going to actually have another one called output. And that'll be of type data table as well. That just allows us to set things up a little bit for later. And both of these will have scope for the entire sequence that I'm currently working on. Okay, so that's how we read a, a data file. Now let's say I want to actually filter this. So with this file, I want to filter out all of the mics and be left with just the Johns. And so the way I do that is I go into programming, program with the data table. And in this case, I'm going to filter the data table. So I move that as the next, next step in the sequence. Click on filter data table. And what do I want to do? Well, I want to filter that first name column. And I want to filter out, so that's remove, I want to filter out anything that is equal to the word Mike. And if I take a look at this, you'll see there's the first name column, and then we've got a bunch of mics in there. Now the input is going to be the input table. The output of this is going to be the output table. And notice that those map to the different variables that I recently created. So that's the, those are both visible over here under variables, input and output, both of type data table. And so again, that filter wizards, gonna fill, take that first name, look for anything that's equal to Mike and remove it from the input data table and then it will send the results to the output data table. Now, what do you wanna do with that? Well, in this case, I wanna actually write some CSV. So I'm gonna throw that down there, write some CSV to what file? I wanna filter that to the output file.csv and what is the data table that I'm, I'm writing to? It is the output file. I click Control S, so I save this here. Now when I'm outputting that to input there, make sure I've got input set up up here. 
So we read the CSV, save it to input. That goes into this filter data table. The filter data table takes the input, creates some output. And then finally, when we write to the CSV, we write that output into the output.csv file. And so there we go. That is our basic process. I am going to click Run here. And you'll notice that there's no change to the input file. But if I go in and I open up the output file, you notice that we've only got the Johns left. So all the mics have been removed. And there you go. That's how easy it is to read some CSV, do some filtering, and write some CSV.